Damar Hamlin's controversial Super Bowl jacket, and we're going to discuss his response to the criticism as well as our prayer points. That's what we do when things happen in the news that the Lord put on my heart to pray. We discuss it first, but we always cover it in prayer. So, come on, let's get into it. Damar Hamlin is the safety for the Buffalo Bills. And as we all know that while playing against the Cincinnati Bengals, he suffered a heart attack. And, you know, it was shocking just watching him lay there on the field. And people began to pray. I remember watching, I can't remember who was the commentator, but he actually stopped the interview and said, let's pray. And he started praying. So those around the world uh, just began to really pray, bombard heaven on his behalf. And blessedly, he made a full recovery. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so DeMar went to the Super Bowl and he was wearing a jacket. On the back of the jacket was a picture of Jesus on the cross. But the face of Jesus looked very distorted or looks very distorted. Above it, it's, it has the word eternal. On the front of the jacket, it has... Without end and without beginning, there is no day, there is no night. Well, the jacket sparked controversy as well as criticism, especially from NFL star Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson considered the jacket to be blasphemy. So he went to his Instagram and he posted, You should be thanking God, son. We all fall short, but come on, man, I find this disrespectful. Well, later on, Peterson edited the post and said he and DeMar had discussed their thoughts as men. He said, I'm not here to judge anyone, but I can't rock with that jacket. At the time of this video, I can say this, yesterday, DeMar Hamlin had addressed the criticism that he received on Twitter, he says, after talking to my parents, I understand how my coat could have offended some people. It was never my intentions to hurt or disrespect anyone. The coat is abstract art to me. It says eternal, which I am eternally thankful to my savior. My beliefs and relationship with God is not tied to symbolic images. I will learn from this and continue to walk in love as I always have the need wrote St. Matthew chapter 7 verses 1 through 5. Here are my thoughts and then we'll discuss my prayer points. My thoughts are all of us have an image of who Jesus is to us. I won't judge your image. You can't judge my image. I'm always encouraging people to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. At the same time, we have to be careful how we present him to others because in presenting him, some will mistake, misjudge, and you can say all you want. Well, that's them. That ain't me. Yes, true. But at there is an accountability, responsibility that also come along with our relationship with Christ. So we're not to be in in um, condemnation or feel restricted or bound. We are free in Christ. But my recommendation and my prayer and my advisement will be to everything that you do, pray over it first. Pray over it first. And ask the Holy Spirit to guide you. Holy Spirit, give me instructions. I want to, to do this. Is this your will, God? Am I in your will when I do this? Will this cause someone to fall or will this cause someone to come to know you even better or even more? You have control, Holy Spirit. And that's what we should be doing every day of our lives. Celebrities, those that are not celebrities, whatever, I don't care who you are. When you have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, you constantly ask, show me your will. I'm not going to judge Damar. I don't know how he sees Jesus. 
And if that's how he see him and that's the jacket he want, that's that's perfectly his choice. Me personally, that face, oh, it looks scary to me. So I don't want to wear your jacket. And I, I think I Googled and saw that it was running like almost $300. You can keep it because I don't like that picture personally. But I'm not going to judge him because it seems like, like he said, that's just abstract art to him. But I love the way he said, I will learn from this. So he's also taken into consideration probably what he can do on a public platform. I don't know. But he's free in Christ Jesus as long as Christ Jesus is the one leading him. So come on, let's, let's, let's pray. Let's pray for Damar. Our prayer points for Damar is going to be his health. It's going to be his relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's also going to be um, his platform, his influence. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for Damar Hamlin. Father, we thank you for complete recovery. Father, thank you that you healed him. Father, thank you that his heart is healed and fully restored. I declare and decree that his heart will function as you created it to function. Father, thank you that you will keep him in perfect peace, God. Father, thank you that he will not build up any, any worryation in his mind, any anxiety. He will not have fear of another heart attack. So, Lord, thank you that not only he's healed physically, but he's healed emotionally. Father, thank you that he's healed in his mind. He's healed in his spirit. We declare that his blood is running correctly in his veins. No blood clots. Father, we thank you that he won't be on medication for the rest of his life. Father, thank you that he is healed. He is restored in the name of Jesus. And we give you the glory, God. We give you the honor. Father, we pray for his relationship with you. Lord, he declared that you are his savior. So, Lord, thank you for saving him. Father, thank you for calling him. Thank you that he accepted the calling. Father, thank you that he's not ashamed to tell the world that you are his God. Father, thank you that he declared the word over his life. He said Matthew 7, 1 through 5. So Father, let that word become alive in him. Father, draw him even closer to you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, fill him with your precious spirit. Father, I declare and decree that he has a desire to make you famous. Keep him, Lord. He says he's not perfect. I'm not perfect. No one is perfect. But keep us, Lord. Let our heart be towards you. Let us always listen to what you're telling us. Keep him, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for him as a young man with such great influence. Let him stay humble. Let him put you first in all that he do. Lead and guide him. Protect him. Give him peace at night. Sweet sleep. Circle around him with people of like-minded faith that can encourage him, mentor him in you first, Lord Jesus, and then in life. In the name of Jesus, we give you the glory and the honor and all the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Woo! So let's stay positive. Let's not judge him. Um, let's keep him up in our prayer. Um, comment below if you have a prayer request that you want me to come in agreement with prayer with you. And also, let me know, are you planning on buying the jacket? Are you going to wear the jacket? Um, if so, that's between you, God, and Damar. <laughs> love you so much with the love of God, and I'll see you in the next video.